The top three things that sort of I get asked a lot or situations I get involved in, the first one is how much does it cost? A lot of uh, clients want to know what the price is first, even before they see examples of my work. And as you know, you can buy a Mercedes or a BMW or you can buy a Chevrolet. So I want people to see my work and understand the value in it before we sort of get down to how much it costs. Another common question these days is what's your style? Everybody wants to know what your style is. So it's sort of funny, when rock and roll music first started, there was just rock and roll. Now there's all these different genres of music. Well, it's the same with photography. There's always these different styles out here and brides always want to try to put you in a box and figure out what your style is. So my answer always is that my style is timeless. I want you to look back at your wedding pictures 10 years from now and still like them. And this is not a question, but more of a situation I find myself in a lot, is that I'll be at a wedding and I'll be doing family portraits, and there's always the aunts and uncles and they have their cell phones out and they want to take pictures with the cell phones. So usually what I do is I make a joke about it and I'm like, hey, the bride and groom are paying me a lot of money to take their pictures and if I don't do a good job, they're going to get very mad at me. But then I let the aunts and uncles take iPhone pictures for about a minute. I make a joke about it and then I go on carrying through on my job. My most favorite photo recently is I recently traveled to Cartagena, Colombia on a special project for a new camera coming out. It's the Lumix S series full frame. We're very excited about that. So they sent me to Colombia and it's the first time I ever worked with a production team. It was really, really awesome. We had this beautiful location by a pool and we had these golden arches and I got to put the bride and groom in each arch take a picture and then they reflect it in the water and it's one of my favorite pictures I've taken in a long time. My most memorable photo shooting experience was last year I went to Cambodia and we got up at four in the morning and we went to Angkor Wat and they have a pond in front of Angkor Wat and you have to get there very early because there's like 5,000 photographers and we got to shoot the sunrise coming up over Angkor Wat. It was amazing. One of them is, is when I'm shooting family photos I'll focus on the family and I'll be taking a couple of pictures of maybe the wedding party or the family. And then what I'll do is I'll point the camera down, focus on the ground, bring it back up and refocus on the family. That way I make sure I've taken two sets of photos of the family and I want to really make sure that they're in focus in the camera. So I do that all the time. You have to have a great monitor in this business because the problem is, is I send all my work out to labs and most wedding photographers do. I order a lot of prints and albums. So I send my work out to be color corrected by a company, it comes back to me and I look on it on a BenQ monitor and if it looks right and it's beautiful, then I'll send it out to the lab or have an album made. And it's really important that that album or prints come back and look the same way they do on the monitor. Otherwise, it can cost you a lot of money and a lot of grief.